everybody. Um, I'm a senior in Pennsylvania. I did MNTSI the summer after my junior year, and that was virtual. So it wasn't like the real experience, um, which was unfortunate because like I wanted to live at Penn for three weeks, but it was virtual, which meant we were like on, we had classes from like 10 a.m. EST to like 4 p.m. EST, which is like a long time on your computer. Um, and we had a lot of homework. We had like four hours of homework every night, like 75 pages of reading, because it's like a college credit in like three weeks. So it's like a semester class in three weeks, which is like a lot. But it was really, really cool. Um, they had like two Penn professors, Professor Babin from Warden and Professor Deliwala from Engineering. They were there and they like taught, we had like engineering lessons in the morning and then they just gave us like Arduinos to use. Um, and then in the afternoon we had like entrepreneurship lessons from um, Professor Babin. And then we like, we would do like social stuff at night, like over Zoom to try to like bond with each other. The whole time we were working on like a final project, which is like a really intensive, like you basically created like a, pro a product and like, had to, like have a business plan and everything. And then um, they also brought in all these like professors or like alums from m and or to come speak with you. And then you had like a TA who's like a current m and student. So there's like a, a ton of support and just everyone's like happy to answer questions. So that was a really good experience. I just wish it was in person. Best was um, just like getting access to all these professors and like they it would answer any of your questions and they would like give you like you would stay every day after class Professor Babin would like stay on for like an hour and you could talk to him about like whatever you wanted to talk about like whatever questions you had which is really cool because like he's a professional in like the business world and he knows so much um, and just everyone was so nice and like the TAs were so helpful and like my TA texted me when I got into m and and he was like congratulations and he like walked me around Penn a few weeks ago so just like the, the people there was really great. The worst part of MTSI was definitely like the homework. There's a lot of homework. It'd be like 75 pages of reading a night, which is like way too much for the summer. Um, and also just like being virtual, but that was just like this year. So that's not like for the future. I mean, the big thing with MNT is I was just like being virtual and I was just not expecting. I mean, we found out about that, I think, like when I got in, in like, I forget, it was like March or something. So like I knew it was going to be virtual, but like, I didn't know that like, we wouldn't get to do like the same engineering labs that like they normally get to do. Cause like, obviously we didn't have access to the resources. And then I didn't know it was going to be as much work as it was, but I mean, it makes sense. Like looking back, given that it's like a college class in three weeks. And for my project, um, my group and I, our company was called Notify, um, and we created a smart availability light for work from home professionals. So basically like you stick it to the door of like your home office or whatever room you're working in, and it like syncs with your calendar or like your Zoom or whatever, and it like would light up if you're busy or like in a meeting. So like if your kids know not to interrupt you. And we like had a working prototype, which was pretty cool. Um, it was just, I didn't build it, someone else built it because like we weren't all together, which was definitely hard, but it was cool. I know m and is like fairly selective. Um, and I found that because I wanted to go to m and and I also know that like kids who do it have a higher chance of getting into m and That application was like pretty intense. It was like an essay and like a video. Pick good teachers to write your recs. Um, I had my computer science teacher and I think my English teacher to kind of cover the like tech and business. And then I think just be creative with your video. There was a day where the TAs at the end like roasted all the kids. Like they found all their all of our videos and like roasted us and like played them in front of everyone. And some people like people were really creative with their videos which I think is like that would be what I recommend like I didn't want to sit in front of the camera and just say like hi my name is Molly and then just like list all like my extracurriculars so I like what I did is I had my computer science teacher I like staged an interview between him like where he was interviewing me but like obviously it was like scripted but 
I think just like there was a kid who was like playing a saxophone in his video and there was a kid who did his whole videos like a rap like I think it's that helped because like the I, I don't, I'm not an admissions officer but like they have to watch so many of those videos and like it's only a minute and 30 seconds and you want to try to get as much of your character through the video as possible like they're already seeing like other stuff about you through your essay so I think just like feel free to be creative with your video because that's like how you stand out. My experience was unique because it was virtual. Um, and like, I think I, I don't remember if they, they made it any cheaper because it was virtual. I think it was cheaper because we didn't pay for like food or housing or anything, but it was very expensive for me. Like the outcome was like worth it just because it was like a college course and it was learning all this information. And then also it would like give me a little bit of a boost for like my college applications. So I think it's like a situational kind of thing. Mm -hmm.